In this video, I'm going to show you how to create those cool VFX breakdown videos using Fusion. So here we are in Fusion and you can see I've got this very basic comp set up here. Um, I've got this plate that I start with and then we've got our shadow pass over that. And then we've got this CG lantern over that and then we've got some color correction and then a vignette and then some film grain. So let me show you how to create a VFX breakdown for something like this. So let's go over to the edit page here at the bottom and then we're going to create a new timeline. So you can simply open up your media pool here at the top and you can right click and then timelines and then select create new timeline. Let's call this VFX breakdown just like that and then click on create. Next, we're going to drag in our fusion comp from our media pool into this new timeline that we created. And now we can basically just see our final comp here in the preview. So let's close the media pool just to create some more space here. And now you can see we have our comp here in our timeline. So first we need to decide how many different layers we want in our breakdown. So for this example, I'm going to do six. So I'm going to duplicate this clip six times. So I'm going to hold in option or alt on the keyboard and just drag this clip up like this. And I'm going to repeat the process until I have the amount of layers that I want. So there we go, we have six layers. And now we need to decide how long or for what duration we want each layer to be on screen for. So let's say we're going to do it one second per layer. So let's move the playhead to one second exactly. And then I'm going to select the top five layers and I'm just going to trim them down like that so that they all start at that one second mark. Now let's go to two seconds like that. And then I'm going to select the top four and I'm going to trim them down to two seconds. Now let's go to three seconds and then we're going to trim down these clips just like that. And now let's go to second number four like that and let's trim these ones down and then we're going to go to five seconds and we're going to trim down this top one so now we can move all these layers down onto one layer so i'm going to select these top five layers and i'm going to hold in option or alt on the keyboard while pressing the down arrow on the keyboard i'm going to do it with all of these as well so i'm going to drop them down select these ones hold in alt and down do the same with these ones and then the last one so now we basically just have this comp that's kind of been split up into different sections so now we can start building our vfx breakdown so make sure the playhead is over this first clip so you don't even have to select the clip you just need to make sure your playhead is over this first section and then click on fusion here at the bottom and this will basically open up that one clip as its own fusion composition so now we can decide what do we want to show on screen for that first clip so maybe we want to start with just showing the plate and we don't want to show any of these other nodes yet so i'm going to select all these nodes we don't want to show and then i'm going to disable them by pressing command or control p on the keyboard so now you can see these nodes are all disabled and we only see our plate, just the footage. So now we can go back to the edit page and you can see this first clip is now actually showing uh, just the plate. Just note that the Fusion cache can sometimes mess this up a bit. So I usually like to just disable the Fusion cache by going to playback here at the top and then make sure your Fusion memory cache is set to off. And the render cache i'm also going to set to none for now just to make sure that these clips update uh, correctly so now we can go and put the play it over the second clip and then let's go back to fusion and now let's say we only want to show the shadow being added on top of the plate so i'm going to select all these nodes i don't want to show and i'm going to disable them by pressing command or control p so now if we go back to the edit page you can see our second clip is showing the shadow and the first one is just showing the plate so let's go to the third clip and let's click on the fusion icon here at the bottom and let's say we want to show the lantern so i'm going to disable these nodes and maybe we don't want to show the ambient occlusion yet so i'm just going to disable this merge node as well so that's the combined pass without the ambient occlusion so now if we go back to the edit page, you can see now we see our lantern. So let's go over to the next one, click on the fusion page, 
and this one we maybe want to show everything except these last nodes so we want to show our lantern with the amine occlusion included so i'm just disabling the color correction the vignette and the film grain so let's go back to the edit page and let's move the play it to the second last one and let's go back to fusion in this one i want to include everything up to the color correction so i'm just going to disable the vignette and the film grain like that and let's go back to the edit page and then for the last clip so i'm going to make sure my play is over the last clip and here we can make sure that everything is included our color correction our vignette and also the film grain so let's go back to the edit page so now we want to duplicate all these clips on the timeline so select them all by just dragging a box hold in alt or option and just drag up like this so now we have this duplicate layer on top of the old one and this will just help us with the transitions between these clips so let's add our transitions so we're going to go to this effects tab right here at the top and make sure you click on video transitions right here and if you scroll down we're going to use these triangle left and right you can decide which one you want under the shape section so i'm going to drag this triangle left and i'm going to drag it over this first cut right here so now if we kind of just go here and you can see something is kind of happening here so what i like to do is select this triangle left transition and here in the inspector if you don't see the inspector here just click this inspector button right there i like to set the border to around 10 and that will give us that little border and here you can set the color of that border so you can customize it to your liking so let's zoom in here and i'm going to make the duration of this transition a bit shorter so let's go back one two three four five six frames and then let's just drag the end of this transition right there so this will just make that transition a bit faster so it's only going to be on screen for about 12 frames which is like half a second so that's exactly what i want so let's zoom out here again and now we can simply right click on this transition copy it and then right click on this cut right here select paste and repeat the process let's close the effects panel on the side and now we can enable the playback cache again so i'm going to go to playback fusion memory cache i'm going to set this to on and then also under playback i'm going to set the render cache to smart give it a few seconds to render and there you go your own cool vfx breakdown video using fusion check the description below for links to some of the assets thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye